ऑप्टेन टेलर सीरीज एक्सपेंशन ऑफ एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू इट दू अवर एक्स अबाउट एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो सो हियर द फंक्शन गिवन फंक्शन इज एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शन दैट इज इट दू अवर एक्स एंड वी हैव टू एक्सपैंड द फंक्शन इट दू अवर एक्स अबाउट एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो फ्रॉम टेलर सीरीज एक्सपेंशन वी नो एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एफ ए प्लस एक्स माइनस ए डिवाइड बाई फैक्टर फैक्टोरियल वन एफ डैस ए दैट इज द फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ द फंक्शन एट एक्स इक्वल टू ए प्लस एक्स माइनस ए होल स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाई फैक्टोरियल टू इंटू द सेकेंड डेरिवेटिव ऑफ द फंक्शन एट एक्स इक्वल टू ए सिमिलरली यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द एनएथ डेरिवेटिव ऑफ द फंक्शन एट एक्स इक्वल टू ए बट हियर it is given that a equal to 0 so if a equal to 0 then what will be f a f a will be equal to e to the power 0 because the function e to the power x if you put x equal to 0 then e to the power 0 is equal to 1 so the first function the first term of the um, taylor series that means e to the power x will be equal to 1 then the second term the second term in the taylor series is x minus a so x minus 0 divided by factorial 1 into uh, the first derivative of the function at x equal to a the first derivative of the function of e to the power x is e to the power x if you find out the first derivative of e to the power x with respect to x then it will be equal to e to the power x so what will be the first derivative at x equal to a if you put x value is equal to 0 so f dash a will be equal to uh 1 because e to the power 0 is equal to 1 so you multiply 1 here then what will be the th third term the third term is x minus a whole square that means x minus 0 Whole square that is equal to x square divided by factorial two. Then what will that what will be the third term? That is the second derivative of the function. If you take the second derivative of e to the power x, then it will be e to the power x. And if you put x equal to zero, then it will be equal to one. So the second derivative of the function at x equal to zero is equal to one. So this is the third term that is equal to one. In this way. you can find out the nth derivative for the nth derivative it is the this, this term will be equal to x minus 0 whole to the power n so x to the power n divided by factorial n and if you calculate the nth derivative of the function e to the power x then it will be equal to e to the power x and if you put x equal to 0 then this that will be equal to 1 so you multiply here 1 so the final expression for the expansion of the function exponential function e to the power x using taylor series expansion will be equal to 1 plus the second term will be equal to x divided by factorial 1 is equal to 1 so it is equal to x the third term will be equal to x square divided by factorial 2 the fourth term will be equal to x cube divided by factorial 3 and the nth term will be equal to x to the power n divided by factorial n in this way you can expand the or you can find out the expansion of the taylor series of the expansion that is e to the power x at x equal to 0 thank you